Hey, how you doing? It's Grampy again, and I'm here in my little steampunk bay, uh, getting ready for the next video of this tutorial series. I think it's the tenth one already, um, and we're gonna just continue. Let me make it daytime. So. Uh, last time we really kind of fumbled our way through this foundation tower fit pillar. I hope it wasn't too maddening and frustrating for how I was fumbling around with that. But and I hope it's clear what what to do here. I, I you know I messed it all up and did a lot of playing, but that's kind of. Um, you know, the basic idea is just to, you know, build this foundation with a very simple pattern like it has. And then in this section right here, create a bulge in some form. And you can do that however you want to hold the, uh, what, you know, the appearance of like a water turbine area. Because that's where our water spout's going to come out. But hopefully that wasn't as bad as it felt like it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to get started on this um, on the f the last remaining major part of this structure. We're probably only going to get it like framed up this time, but we're going to start on this build. So let's just get started because I've been running out of time. Um, it should what we're going to do is very should seem very familiar because it's going to follow the same pattern of building that we use down here, the one that Lynchy Inc. Uh, advocates in his tutorial video so we're going to come up by three on this lower platform and then one above that we're going to bring it in with our and we're going to stay consistent with our log placement and it's actually the opposite of what we did down there if you remember the ends of the logs on this section terminated here you can see the grain goes that way. Up here we're going to do it opposite just because even though you hardly notice it with the trap doors but um, you'll know it's there. <laughs> so we'll keep that consistent and uh, so there we go. And like that. Okay, so the second level is should be three high when we build our floor on that level. And then the same for this uh, level should go up three three blocks on the pillars and build our next level one above that. So here. our ends look work out right there we go and then on this upper level so the second level also we should have a when the floor is in on this level and the floor is in on that upper level this should also be a three high space and it is and then up here you recall we're going to go up by four one two three four and we'll do that everywhere it needs to So there's the basic frame for the upper uh, building. Now we're going to um, do a little planning right now so we don't build walls that need to be torn down. And I, you know, like I did down there, I'm going to try and um, not frustrate the heck out of you. So I think um, above this roof, you know, the, so the room additions are actually going to come out 
to the to these ends, the ends where the open log has been left. So the room addition is going to come out on this end and that end. And I think above, since we're close to this roof, the upper one needs to come out on this side. And that'll work out uh, better also because, um, two, three, four, because I want to have... <coughs> I want to have the best views from this thing, and I think, actually, I don't think this one is going to have a very good view at all. That's unfortunate, but that's a second. But the platform, but the balcony area, so the balcony, we're going to build balconies as well. And I think I'll build them like this, so it comes in two. These balconies, you can do whatever you want. Um, and that'll have a great view from this side. So we'll be able to look over our hometown area, see our other structures, and see the other buildings that people have made here. Um, so the room addition at the top will be on this side, and we'll not fill in this wall and then have to rip it out again. Um, and then this middle room addition will go here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So as you plan yours out, just kind of think about that. I recommend that you put the upper room, the one that's above this roof, since it, that would be a little close if you built the middle one here. So I'd recommend that strategy. And then, um, and then a balcony probably here so one, two three four we'll just I think we'll try it like that um, that'll give us a three high that'll be good so we can have a door and a couple of windows this one as long as it's an odd number, <laughs> we'll be fine. So, uh, so there it is, guys. That's kind of the basic platform framework of our of our upper structure. And um, so now, I'll uh, off camera. I will fill in the remaining framing and fill in the the color part of the walls. And that'll be it for this video. And in the next video, we will um, we'll build the roof, and then we'll start planning out our, you know, steampunk attachments. I kind of want to build another one of these balloons just to show you how I did that, because I really like that balloon. <laughs> I really like that balloon. You know, the only thing that would be better, and I did this on <laughs> I did this on Tango Tex. Um, server on the one I built there. I put a zombie in there as our pilot and named him uh, Amelia Earhart. I don't know if anyone appreciated it or not, but having a pilot in our balloon is probably a good idea. So, um, but it was, <laughs> boy, it was a pain getting him up there. I had to build, you know, I had to catch one first, and then I had to hide him in a place where he wouldn't die because I built my, then I built my infrastructure to get him up there. It was just a pain. Anyway, off camera, guys, I'm going to fill in all the details and come back and show you how it looks, and then we'll uh, end this video and get ready for the next one. See you when I'm finished. Well, okay, there we go. I've uh, framed it all in. I filled in the walls with the colored. Um, concrete of choice. I went ahead and did all of the decorations on all of the appropriate corners, just like we did down below. I thought that was, you know, boring enough just to do that off camera. So again, I still recommend we do that as you go. As you're already at this location, you've already built scaffolding to get there or whatever it is. It's just much easier to get all this stuff in as you go. So again, trap doors on each of the corner edge uh, sides, uh, concrete walls above and below the trap doors, fill in the middle with uh, spruce stairs or whatever 
wood choice you're picking. So I went ahead and did that. I went ahead and filled out the balconies with their wooden flooring platforms. I, went, I used iron bars here this time. I put stone, or wooden pressure plates on top of the logs just to cap it off and make it look better. And then I put stone buttons on the ends of these logs. I used iron bars instead of leaves. You can do that if you like it or not. So I did that on both of these. And um, and that pretty much does it for this, the basic structure up here. Now we've got to, uh, we've got to do some more work on the exterior. We've got a lot of work on the inside. We'll get to that and when we get to it, but on the on the outside, we've still got to put our support structures. I'll go through that again and not do that off camera because uh, we did it once down there, but just to make sure it was clear what I did, I'll do that on camera. We've still got to put our roof on. That's kind of the tedious part. We'll get to that. Probably do those two things in the next video. Um, and after we do that, we'll plan out where we're going to put our various steampunk stuff, like our propeller and our, uh, we know where the water wheel is going to go. We'll figure out what we're going to do. We'll probably put some platforms like, some things like this, because I just think they're pretty cool, like this crane that holds some logs, etc. So we'll plan all that out next time. And, uh... And that'll wrap up the outside. Then we'll be ready to finish off the interior. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.